Royal families from around the world gathered at Zaran Palace in Amman, Jordan, on June 1, 2023, to attend the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein and Rajwa Alsif. Among those attending the ceremony were the Prince and Princess of Wales, Jill Biden, and many other royal and political figures. The event was lavish, to say the least. The bride and groom were married in a flower-decorated gazebo. Alsif, now a princess of Jordan, wore a bespoke couture gown with long sleeves by Ellie Saab. But of course, not all the guests made a good impression at this star-studded event. Here are some of the worst-dressed guests at the royal wedding in Jordan. Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden Princess Victoria of Sweden looked ready for tea, wearing a long-sleeved maxi dress with a floral print by Molina. While the dress isn't flashy, it looked too sloppy for a royal wedding. Victoria's evening banquet look, the ginkgo cape dress by Sophia, was no better and made her figure look square. It was also incredibly similar to Princess Elizabeth of Belgium's look. Moreover, Meghan Markle wore the same light blue dress back in 2018. Victoria's husband, Daniel from Sweden, looked no better. His tuxedo at the evening banquet looked like a suit. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands Like Princess Victoria of Sweden, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands failed to impress in a blue floral print dress designed by Louise Beccaria for town and country. The transparent dress had bell sleeves, a V-neckline and two shades of blue. She completed her look with a blue clutch in the shape of a seashell. Victoria, unfortunately, looks like she is attending a wedding in Hawaii, not a royal wedding in the Arab country of Jordan. Plus, this isn't the first time she's been featured in this look. Victoria previously wore this dress to an event in 2017 and again in 2019. Princess Amalia of Orange Princess Amalia of Orange is only 19 years old, but she looked twice as old in her wedding banquet dress. This red silk and embellished gown is more suited to the mother of the bride. Amalia's gorgeous headdress, also known as the ruby peacock tiara, is the only redeeming factor in this look. According to the court jeweler, the tiara was made in 1897 and was previously worn by Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands and Amalia's mother, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. Queen Jetson of Bhutan Queen Jetson Pema of Bhutan, pictured left, advocates for environmental issues and is known for being called the Dragon Queen, by a South China Morning Post. Jestin was in the news when she attended Queen Elizabeth's funeral and then the coronation of King Charles. Jestin attended the royal wedding in Jordan in a traditional dress from her native country. She completed the dress with a neutral clutch and a red and turquoise necklace with matching earrings. However, these items contrasted with the bold and colorful patterns of her dress. All in all, there was too much going on in this look. Sheikha Moza bint Nasser al Misand. Sheikha Moza bint Nasser al Misand arrived at the wedding wearing a pink and black suit designed by Valentino in 1989. In her ruling country of Qatar and throughout the Middle East, the Sheikha is considered a fashion icon. The pink geometric coat is eye catching and dramatic. Given the occasion, the look is better suited for a fashion event rather than a wedding. She could have paired her black a silhouette dress with a more muted coat. However, the Sheikha made up for the look with a spectacular chiffon neon green dress, which she wore to the wedding banquet. Princess Hisako and Princess Tsuguko of Japan Princess Hisako and Princess Tsuguko announced in May 2023 that they were to attend the royal wedding in Jordan. Hisako later told Arab News, This is a joyous occasion, I wish the young couple more happiness in the future. The future of Jordan lies on their shoulders. At the same time, the appearance of the mother-daughter duo was unremarkable. Princess Hisako wore a green embellished dress, while Princess Tsuguko's blue dress was decorated with a floral pattern. Both appear straight out of the 80s. Their accessories, including an owl-shaped clutch and a pearl necklace, also look dated. Princess Beatrice Unlike the Princess of Wales' pink dress, Princess Beatrice's wedding look did not impress. Beatrice had a reputation for dressing inappropriately, and her light blue needle and thread gown was no exception. The dress is made of tulle and decorated with gold sequins and ruffles on the sleeves and hem. Simply put, 
the dress has outdated features and looks a little sloppy. Beatrice slightly improved the look of the dress with a simple black sash. She also wore a pink dress with puffy sleeves to the wedding banquet, which made Beatrice look like a stereotypical princess. Neither of her two looks was a winner in our book.